Hi, community creators. Uh, this is Deb Shell. I'm coming to you live from Cape Cod Beach. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> This is a background, obviously. Um, I just wanted to start this uh, blog bite today off a little fun. It's about passion and pursuit of passive income. So the uh, creator economy, I uh, typically do just a real quick uh, review for anyone who's new to blog bites. I do a quick review on um, a blog post. So if you'd rather read this, blog uh feel free to go to findcomhere.com and go to blogs and you'll find it um but if you don't want to read it i'm just going to summarize it for you in this video so basically uh the struggles are real in 2023 y'all because <laughs> uh just recently i had a client come to me um booked a strategy session and you know was launching in three days and so <laughs> She really didn't, um, she was had a course. And so she was thinking that just having a course and just setting up the plans, that's all she needed to do. And then she was gonna put it out to her email list and then she'd be good to go. And what we were really missing was the user, the, the member experience and having members test it out and um, experience it and understand like why members would keep staying there and keep coming back week after week, month after month. Um, and so I think that's what the that's what the disconnect is when people talk about having a community and what people say about passive income. The community is basically the opposite of passive income if you really think about it because. Um, unless you have unless you're some of the lucky people that have 20,000 50,000 100,000 you know or more subscribers uh, on your email list and in your social medias and all that good stuff a community is going to be really hard if you don't have those kinds of numbers of audience building so if you're brand new to audience building that's cool because that's where i'm at too welcome to the club uh, so I just talk a little bit about that. It's, it's really about doing the hard work and setting up the steps and how to find calm with this is just like realizing where you're at and saying, all right, well, I'm a beginner. So I am not going to have all the things in five minutes. Some of these things take 10 years to do everyone. It's not something that happens overnight. So just give yourself grace if you're one of those people thinking like, oh my gosh, it's and then here's the other cool thing about being a business owner. You can decide to change your mind. So if in three days is your launch and you feel like I'm not ready for this launch, you can email your membership or your email list and you can say, hey, I told you it was going to be in three days, but guess what? I'm not ready. And I'm sorry, I, you know, but that's just where I'm at. And they're going to appreciate you being real and honest with them instead of you pushing out something that you're not ready to really sell and promote and feel like it's really good your, your your best work basically you don't want to put something out there that isn't your best work i mean if you do it you're going to get the results you get um and so i just talk about that a little bit in here i met pamela slim who i would definitely recommend if you're a new business owner or even if you've been in business for a long time, Pamela Slim has some really great resources, especially one, a book that um, we did a book club uh, in the Find Calm Here community last year before I closed it, as well as um, the, you know, she had a book called Body of Work. And when I talk to um, community builders about what kind of, what are they gonna do inside their online communities, we talk about how an online community could really be gathering people together and sharing with them what you've learned over your lifetime and that your that could be your life's work and that could be things that you've learned over your life and then you're sharing that with these people and they're benefiting from whatever that is that you learned. Um, so those are things that we um, talk about in, in the respective community building, but she's a really great resource. She brought this idea that because it makes me more feel like, oh, this is a totally the kind of community I really appreciate and really want to be a part of. And it's one where we are both, you know, we're facilitators. If you're leading a community, whether you're a community manager or you're a community host, or you are starting to build a community or you've been building a community for a long time, um, the challenge and the joy around building it is that you have to work extensively to build it with your ideal members. 
and you fi finding your real beta and focusing on what problem you're how gonna help them solve. Um, so community is really about solving a problem together. So how are we gonna do that? And then the last tip here I share is about, <laughs> I went to PodFest in Orlando last year about this time. And one of the things that happened, I spoke there about community building. And after uh, I, I did my talk, I had a lady come up to me and ask me, um, she gave me some information about what community she had. And she said, I want to do a podcast uh, series, uh, email series, and like a daily podcast, uh, motivational podcast. And I said, wow, that sounds like a lot of work for you and your team. Um, did, did the members tell you that's what they're really wanting? They want a daily message. And she goes, no, Deb. And I said, you might want to ask them because honestly, if they say no, we really don't feel like we'd want that. That's good to know up front, <laughs> because if you know that up front, then you never have to do a daily thing. If your members are telling you, no, we don't want a daily thing. Uh, so those kind of things could save you lots of time and money. Uh, just asking the question, do you really want this thing before I spend a lot of time and investment in doing the thing and making it and making it happen for you? And what's the bonus bonus tip is doing it with them and helping them be a part of the process will help you feel a little bit more calm as well. My name is Deb. I'm a community strategist. Uh, let me know if you have any questions around this. Uh, shoot me an email at deb at findcalmhere.com. Can't wait to uh, chat with you soon. Uh, Hopefully I'll be at a beach again soon. It's been quite a while since I've been at the beach. This is Cape Cod, by the way. Um, I've been to several beaches and they are, this is a photograph of mine that is up on my website and available for sale as a gallery art print. Anyway, have a lovely weekend and take care.